Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again today. I, uh, I don't talk about tools I just bought very often, but these are kind of neat actually, and I have quite a bit of experience with the similar ones that I've been running for years. So anyway, I happened to be flipping through my batteries the other day because I was on a job and noticed that a lot of them were burning up really quickly, so I happened to start looking at my dates. And it looks like this old set right here, this is a big set I bought from DeWalt, apparently was six years ago in 2014. So obviously not the six amp hour batteries, but this saw has been running that long and is still running very good. Uh, the one thing I've really loved about it, I'm right-handed, so putting this in my right hand and setting down to cut a board, you know, this is very easy sight line right here. Where I went um, this morning and I, I sold, I started selling my DeWalt stuff as I was been wearing it out. It, they're still working, they're just reaching the end, you know. And I sold the jigsaw yesterday, so I picked up a new one of these. This is the new XR, and this has, you know, a light on it now, which is awesome. Finally catching up with everything. It has two LEDs under there. Multi-speed right here on the top, one through seven. And, of course, it has your blade thrust here on the side, and a locking base back and forth. Kind of similar base to what it's always had. But, since I've already sold my other jigsaw, I can't really talk about it, or show you it, but it had the lever you pull open here on the front. Similar to this, but it was plastic inside and all, and it just did not feel good. So this one here has a new, if you can see this without it getting too hot of a light, this has a metal right here on the front. And when you open this, it swaps out so much cleaner. The, uh, the pieces here are all metal now that drive the release there's no plastic up in there that i can even see and to me that's worth a lot that is a nice feeling that was one of the worst things about the other jigsaw was the release on it and all as well as how the base would hold together it just wasn't that great this one feels a whole lot more solid and i can definitely tell there's some nice upgrades the release here is a lot better than the little metal one that used to come all down underneath. Uh, just just all in all, a lot more powerful feeling saw. My other one was not brushless. It was a 20 volt, but it was one of the originals. You know, it's six years old. So this is a very nice little upgrade that I picked up. I do want to get one of the barrel grip. You know, that's what my Carvex over here is. But on the job site, a lot of times... I just need a little battery one of my Carvex is corded. So anyway, pick that up and that's what it is there. So kind of nice. Oh, that's another benefit of these workbenches with the holes. You can set your jigsaws down with the blades in and it's, you know, no problem. So let's get to the meat of this. This is the power, what is it called? The power detect right here. Supposedly this has electronics in it that allow the saw to detect when you connect a higher amp hour battery and it allows it to use its power more efficiently. This was $279 at Lowe's for this saw. It comes with a 24 tooth 7 and a quarter blade. That's one nice upgrade from my other DeWalt circular saw here that had a 6 what is it, a six and a half on this? Definitely not a full-size blade, which means as far as in the town I live in, I can almost only find DeWalt blades in that size. And I like to run these Freud blades. And I have to go to Home Depot. Well, Home Depot for me, you know, is a couple hour drive. So anyway, great little saw though, and mainly because of the side the blade is on. Now this is something I discovered today I love this saw. I had, I was gonna kind of unbox it for you guys, but uh, you can kind of see what that looks like there. XR has the brake, as you can see right here. Real quick brake like the other one. Watch your ears. It's not, not quite as quick a brake, I think, as this one. This one's fast. It may just be there's more inertia with the larger blade. 
but very nice and smooth. This one also comes with the rafter hook, so you can hook this forward, you know, over, over a two by four, this saw will hook like that, you know. So that's kind of nice. Working on floor joists or something like that, you can just kick your saw forward and hang it without worrying about it falling or somebody knocking it off the rafter where you have it set. The shoe is also dramatically bigger on this saw, if you can see that, than this one. I mean, what, 30%? It, it's dramatically wider. So, handy for some things. I don't know about everything. The biggest issue to me is now, at least I can see my blade down through the front here. Because if I could not, that would be very frustrating. The other thing they changed is this little release here for when you want to activate your blade, the safety, that you're get so used to just pushing forward. It has that big deal all the way left and right. You just pushed it forward and then you could activate. On the new saw, it's going to take a little more getting used to because honestly, it feels more like a drill. It has the left and right spring loaded, and as soon as you let go, it auto relocks. So you can't pull the trigger unless you press that in and pull. So that's going to take a minute. But otherwise, it seems to be pretty nice. You have, you have a little easier lock there on the front for your tilt than you used to have to unscrew in order to do. So, kind of nice. I, uh, they changed the, the blade change on this too to where you have the hex nut under the back, which is more like, I believe, the corded version I had from a long time ago. It's been relegated to cutting concrete and bricks at this point. But on this, obviously, got to drop the shoe down. Um, under the back, just like on those, you have, well, apparently with that 8 amp hour battery, which this is what that comes with, a big 8 amp hour battery that I think is really close to the same size as the 6s. It doesn't feel just obnoxiously bigger than a 6. Woo. That's a six and the new eight side by side. I don't see much difference. Um, that That's very, very close. I don't know if there's any difference in size at all. Doesn't even feel like there's any weight difference. But anyway, supposedly this saw can utilize that better. But right here under the back end of the saw, you have your old style DeWalt blade wrench. And, you know, the other 20 volt one, you had a Allen key that stores, you know, right back here on the side. And so this has an Allen key to unscrew it. Kind of different. Also, I guess, since it is a right side blade instead of a left side blade, it unscrews forward and reverse just like a normal bolt instead of the left side saw is reverse thread. So, a lot of little things that are going to take me some getting used to. But, the saw's power was impressive today. We can clamp this down here and show you. This also came... Let me see if I have it laying right here. I thought I did. I brought it in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The uh, bag. This came with a DeWalt bag, which I usually throw these in with some tools I don't want when I sell them and let them go because I don't use these bags for anything but it comes with a much nicer dewalt charger the the rapid charge the dcb 118 this has the fan forced air through here so when this is charging it keeps your batteries cooler and causes them to charge a lot quicker really nice when you're running these big six and eight amp hour batteries on your saws a uh, little bit bigger charger and definitely more noise the other ones are no noise at all but you're you're cutting your charging time in a, by a lot running these. But uh, anyway, very nice little saw. Just, just a few things that are going to take some getting used to about it. So I don't know about getting rid of my, my old 20 volt here. I wouldn't mind having another left side blade, but I'd want it, you know, the new brushless everything. But time will tell on this one, but I got such good life out of the old one that I have really high hopes for this. Well, let's clamp this down and let's see how it cuts a two by four here for you. Of course, I probably need to go find some glasses. We might have to clip this video and go get some safety glasses on.
believe took them off my hat. All right, let me grab some glasses. I'll show you. And like magic, there we are. Check these out, two 3M glasses with a green on there that's almost a dead ringer for Festool. How cool is that? Anyway, let's check this out. With the 8 amp hour battery, let's give this a cut on this 2x4 here. You can see how, what kind of power this has. Just like that. You know, this one does have an older blade on it, but if you want to see the difference, and this is also a 6 amp hour battery, but they both are fully charged. So, a little bit older Freud blade on that, but so don't fault the saw completely. This is a brand new blade on this one out of the box today. 24 tooth. Of course, the other one is a, a good framing blade, but that's very nice. Good clean cut. Um, the only thing, wish I had a, a right side blade, but I think I'll get used to it in time. But that's the new Power Detect circular saw. I might be picking up the other Power Detect tools as well, being I like this one so much. It wouldn't hurt my feelings to have the grinder and whatnot as well, and go ahead and trade out some other non brushless tools. I really like the performance out of these. Uh, the jigsaw used it to cut out some toilet holes today for floor flanges. That was a fantastic buy today also, but it was just a bare tool, nothing fancy involved there other than they have LEDs on all this stuff now. Did you notice that? This saw here has, has an LED right here on the cut line. How awesome is that? Thanks, DeWalt. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, let me know if y'all are running any of these right here. I don't know how long they've been out, but I don't think it's been long because there's not very many YouTube videos on it that I could find. And I just really liked it on the shelf. So anyway, thanks for being here. See y'all on the next one.